Welcome to Online U.S. History. This course will be active as soon as I finish recording this video and send it out to all of you. You should be able to refer to this video anytime that you have any questions on how to submit work, how to find anything in the Blackboard shell, um, how to access the quizzes, the discussion boards, or the tests. Um, this is sort of your all over uh, overview of the class. When you go into the class, the first thing you should see is the announcements. Though I may add announcements below this line, uh, for the most part, the what you'll see is the school course calendar. So there you see that on Monday, we start with week one and week two. Um, that is topic one and topic two, lessons one through three. And when I go into the folder, she'll be able to understand why we call it week one and week two. If you were taking this class during the school year, uh, you would only be doing the week one work the first week of school and week two week the second week of school. So as you can see here, we have literally combined two weeks worth of work into each day. That's why the expectations of this class is that you're spending six to seven and a half hours of coursework every day working on stuff for this class because your classmates who take this traditionally through the school year um, have the entire week to get this work done. So you'll notice that in red are the ERA exams. Um, so you have the first two days, you have the ERA 1 exam, the next day you have the ERA 2 exam, um, and on the 20th Friday you have the ERA 3 exam. So if you notice, in the first week we cover 10 weeks. We also have three exams. Um, Every week is worth 225 points. Every exam is worth 200 points. Um, and every day we'll have a chat, and chat is 50 points. So if you notice, we, we get through the content very quickly. Here on the 4th of July, you will notice that uh, we have not only the 4th of July off, but we also have the 5th. So the second week of school, we only have three days. Um, the midterm is on July 9th. That will be at Justice High School. Um, at 5 p.m. and then as you guys see um, down here on July 4th, uh, 24th, excuse me, we have the face-to-face -face final exam and that will also be at Justice High School at 5 p.m. Now if you are someone that has to take the SOL exam and that the requirements have changed so not all uh, U.S. history students have to take it, um, but if you are a student who does you will take that on the 25th at Justice High School um, time to be determined. So um, what we've made accessible to you um, after announcements is if you look over here at the U.S. History Summer 2018 link, you click on that, and I'll change it to say 2019, um, but Era 1, uh, which is, of course, what we'll be covering, so back to announcements, you see Week 1, Week 2, Week 3, um, that's all in the Era 1. So you click on Era 1. Um, right now, as you can see, um, all you'll be able to see before we start class on Monday is the week one stuff. This will give you guys the opportunity to be able to uh, go through, start looking at some of the, the assignments. For example, when you go into week one, um, you'll see that here's the reading. Um, before reading the textbook, you're going to complete the discussion board, which I'll go over. You're also going to want to complete online tasks step one and step two, which will help you navigate the textbook. Um, and then you'll want to read the first topic in the textbook. When you want to look at what the online task is, if you click in here, you'll see um, this is uh, step one is to log into the textbook. Step two is the scavenger hunt. And then the third thing that you'll be doing is watching a crash course video. Um, the link is there and completing this worksheet. You will then take these two documents, the scavenger hunt document and the Atlantic slave trade worksheet document. You'll save them to your uh, computer or you'll save them into Google Drive and right here where it says online task with the pencil and the ruler that is where you'll go to turn it in so you click on that you'll go down as you can see this is due Monday by midnight um, so if you work on it now guess what you'll be ahead um, and you will hit browse my computer when you go to browse my computer um, uh, it does not want you, um, my computer does not want to allow you to open anything right now, but you click browse my computer, the, uh, the item will open up that allows you to um, go in and uh, uh, pick files. You'll pick up, there we go, here you'll be able to pick up your two files, hit, um, uh, hit submit, so if I were to, oh, they can't access that desk because, of course, 
here we go. So if I wanted to submit these two documents, I could go into them, hit open. Um, that would file them here. I agree to submit my papers through SafeAssign and then hit submit. Please, 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 please do not hit write submission. Okay, um, you want to make sure that you are uploading these documents. Once you're done with that, you'll hit submit. I'm going to hit cancel because I have nothing to turn in. And you'll have submitted your first task. Now, what you don't see here right now is the quiz. And that's because I don't actually want you to complete the quiz until after we talk on Monday. But to give you guys an idea of what it'll look like is, um, as you can see here, the week one reading, the online task, where you turn it in, and then the quiz. Every week looks like this, okay? When you go into the quizzes, you'll notice it's open note. It's an open note quiz. You can use any notes that you have, um, but you only get a, a one attempt to take it. So please make sure that once you open it, that you're working on the quiz, um, you can't open it and then close it and try to get back into it. It won't allow you to do that. Um, and you only have 180 minutes to take a 10 question quiz. So hopefully you'll do okay with that. Um, actually, some of the quizzes I think are, are even uh, 15 to 20 questions. Even so, um, uh, with 20 minute, uh, 20 questions, 180 minutes gives you plenty of time to complete that. But as you can see, this is how it opens it. You'll see you've got three hours. You'll be notified when time expires. Um, you may continue or submit. Once this is started, it must be completed when sitting. Um, and it allow, this says it allows multiple times. That's not true. Um, and then you hit begin. Um, so it's a single attempt. You'll need to make sure that you um, are, are completing it as you go in. Okay, so um, to give you an idea, era one, as I said, right now you can only see week one, but as you can see there, um, once we get through Monday, you'll have week two, three, and the era one exam uh, available to you. As you can see, the exams are closed note, uh, closed book, and you get a single attempt. Uh, I believe you have uh, four hours to complete um, the exam. Uh, the exam is uh, 50 questions, multiple choice, and one uh, short answer question. Um, if we're, uh, so, uh, and then you do your student feedback survey, and that is it. So uh, that gives you an idea of era, what the assignments look like. To get to the textbook, we've got a textbook link here. Um, that should take you to it. Also, if you just type in, um, Let's see if it'll work here. Um, you have to use the login that you use to get into your um, all of your uh, Fairfax County items. As you can see here, here's the textbook. Um, and then you'll click on the assignment here. You know what? I will actually give you guys the textbook while we're talking right now. There we go. Okay. So um, you click on your textbook and it will take you into this. Um, and this is what the scavenger hunt will take you in to see so that you can see all of the different items. Here's topic one and you can look at it this way or you can go into the e-textbook, which looks like this. So as you can see here, and the scavenger hunt takes you through all these items like the table of contents, okay, all of the different um, lessons that you can look at, uh, you know, allows you to do a little bit of hunting and, and looking at stuff. As you can see here, there's a read aloud option for um, the, the textbook. So if you prefer to have it read aloud as you're reading it, you have that option, you can highlight. Um, you can take notes, all of those options available with the textbook. And the first assignment is your option to be able to go through that. I've also added a link for video lectures. In chat, we don't have a lot of time to go through um, content uh, in great detail. So for my classes at my base school, which is Lake Braddock, I've created all these video lectures on all of the various content for the year. So if there's something that you want to review, if there's something that you're unsure of, um, if you want to use it to study for any of the tests, all of these video lectures are here um, and you can access them through this site. It's my FCPS global or FCPSschools.net account that I've created it on, so that's why you should be able to access them through YouTube. Now the very first thing you should do every day is go into the discussion board. Um, 
And what you want to do is you're going to um, read the discussion board questions, like when visiting someplace new, why is it important to learn about the culture and traditions of people are you meeting? Should you have any expectations of their understanding of your culture? Why or why not? Um, you click on it. You're going to create a thread. Okay, as you can see, people here created a thread. But you create a thread here. Um, you could write your own sort of, you could either make it, you just call it week one, you could call it visiting someplace new, you could just call it thread, um, but you write your message there. Your message should be a couple paragraphs in length. Um, it, you know, there are two questions here, um, and so you need to answer them in detail, okay? And then you hit submit. After you've done that, after you've hit submit, your next step is to click on appears um, posting. Okay, so you would read this for a new place. Um, you'd read all this, and then you'd hit the quote button, not the reply button, the quote button, the quote button, because the quote button allows me to see what you're commenting on. You hit the quote button, okay, as you can see here, it then quotes what you're, you're writing on, and you would write your response and hit submit. Once you've done that, put your original posting and then quoted on someone else's posting, um, you are done with the discussion board for that week. So you would need to do that for both week one as well as week two for um, Monday by midnight. Okay, now chat sessions. I am actually going to go uh, back into edit mode. Okay, when we go into chat sessions, you'll see here, um, I actually need to edit this a little bit. Um, but chat sessions, you won't see this link. Um, what you'll see is our link to join, okay? Um, and our chats are actually gonna be at 4 p.m. Mr. Ruiz and I are switching for this year. Um, he'll be at 9 a.m. So when you're joining my link, um, you can, or when you're coming into my 4 p.m., you click that. If you've decided to attend the 9 a.m., um, then you'll need to click on that session. Um, the expectation is you're attending mine unless you and I have discussed um, other arrangements for it. Um, if for some reason you want to review a recording from a class, you can click on that and it has the links to all the recordings. Okay, um, staff information. This will give you my information on how to reach me. Um, I encourage you not to use that phone number because that phone number is my school phone number and I'm not there right now. The best way to reach me is this email address which you have access to in SIS and you also have access to in Blackboard. Plus you should have already received at least one email from me not including this video. Syllabus and other information, you can read the syllabus here. Um, so you can go through all of the information about the class, okay? Um, and then if you click on my grades, this won't show for me. Um, oh, here you go, you can see all of the grades. Um, so it gives you an idea of how many points everything is, is worth. Um, and once I start grading things, um, you can see how much um, the grade comes out to, okay? Um, so this gives you an idea of if I've graded something or if you're still waiting on me to grade it. I also will send out daily progress reports through SIS. Okay, so that is all the um, bells and whistles of the, um, of the uh, Blackboard shell. When you click on link to join um, for Blackboard Collaborate, um, and I do encourage you to take a second to do this, um, you would type in um, log into the session. It takes you in. Um, this is an old link, so it won't take you into this one, but once I update you, uh, update the link, um, you'll be able to go in and you just type the name that you would like to be called. Um, and you will upload that, um, or you will be able to participate in our online chat. Um, your first orientation, um, you are expected to attend orientation at 9 a.m. with Mr. Ruiz, um, and then we will have our first chat at 4 p.m. Um, on Monday. So hopefully I will be able to see you guys um, at 4 p.m. Um, and then also don't forget that we also have an orientation Monday morning. Okay, if you have any questions for me, please feel free to email me. Otherwise, hopefully you'll remember everything um, that you're supposed to go through. And as I said before, um, we go through two weeks worth of work every day. Everything's due by midnight on that day. Um, so you really can't fall behind. You do need to make sure that this class is a priority as you're going through it. 
Um, I am available by email almost all times of the day. I will let you know if I'm, I'm not going to be as available. Um, but you're welcome to email me with any questions. And, um, of course, if, if anything comes up, please be in contact with me immediately. Okay, so uh, now is your time to go through your Blackboard course on your own um, and maybe start getting ahead, do this textbook scavenger hunt, watch that video, do your discussion board posts, and maybe get a little bit ahead so that on Monday, after the orientation, you can start getting some work done um, and, and maybe uh, stay ahead in the course rather than falling behind. Uh, I look forward to meeting, meeting quote unquote, meeting you because it will be virtual uh, online Monday afternoon. I hope you guys have a good weekend.